वॉट डज इट मीन टू लिव इन अ रूम मतलब अगर मैं किसी और के रूम में शिफ्ट हो जाऊं वेन विल दैट रूम स्टार्ट टू बी माइन इज टू लिव इन अ प्लेस टू टेक पोजेशन ऑफ इट वॉट डज टेकिंग पोजेशन ऑफ अ प्लेस इवन मीन फ्रॉम वेन डज समेर बिकम ट्रूली योर्स कब से कहीं सही मायनों में अपना हो जाता है Is it when you have one soul pink sock lying under the table, or maybe a plant in the corner, just go? तुम पानी देना कभी-कभी भूल जाते हो. Is it when you have used up all the plug points to charge your hundred devices, or when you can mess it up without a second thought? After all, अपनी चीजों पर ही तो इतना हक होता है. Where you don't have to apologize for the havoc you create, the mistakes you do. विक्टोरियन एरा में विमेन यूज टू हैव अ सेपरेट रूम नेक्स्ट टू द बेडरूम्स जिसको वो बूढ़वा बोलते थे दीज वे प्राइवेट स्पेसिस टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड ट्रांसलेटेड लिटरली फ्रॉम फ्रेंच इट मीन्स अ प्लेस टू सल्क अभी विक्टोरियन वुमेन का तो पता नहीं बट सल्किंग इज डेफिनेटली अ बिग पार्ट ऑफ माई डे सो आई फॉर श्योर अप्रिशिएट द प्रिवेसी As girls and young women, we are often more protected as compared to our counterparts. जहाँ लड़कों के लिए it's very normal to be out there in the world, exploring different parts of the city, as boys do. Girls' cultures are located in a different sphere, a more internal one. Naturally, on average, girls spend a lot more time in their rooms. Now, I don't want to generalize for all the girls, but for me. My room has always been the only place I feel truly comfortable, truly secure and truly vulnerable. That's where I can truly do whatever I want. The only place I don't feel eyes on me. You know, 3D coordinate geometry mein there are three axes, x, y and z and their intersection is called the origin. 0, 0, 0. This room is my origin in the world. Everything I do, everywhere I go, it's all relative to this space right here. I used to sleep in the living room till I was 10 years old. Thankfully, my brother is smart enough to leave home and go to college in a different city. So he left and I had the most quintessential younger sibling experience. getting something second hand that belonged to him except this time it was his room it's funny how the place i call the 0,0,0 coordinate of my existence is a hand me down from someone else's life that they have left behind but if you think about it isn't that what all life is we get a job because someone else left that job we date people who other people have broken up with Just because you were in there first doesn't mean that it cannot be your home. Just like crabs trying on different shells, we are also just trying to figure out where we belong. The ten-year-old me tried her best to camouflage the boy room to be a girl room. I painted the wall purple, added a pink pen holder, flowery bed sheet, and somehow that was actually enough. Over the years this room has become a collection of my firsts and a museum of my failures. I got my first phone here, my first crush, my first period, the first time I tried to cut my own bangs. There's a theory called extended cognition theory that states that the human mind does not exclusively reside in the brain or even the body but spills into the physical world. And that's my room for me. fights with my mom sleepovers non-stop binging all seasons of game of thrones all night phone calls heartbreaks depression this room has seen it all this is where i studied for je and failed and where i studied for gate and got my dream college and finally for the first time in forever i had somewhere else to call my room but that was 3 years ago I came back to my own room about a year ago and even though it was a conscious decision to work from home 
somehow it felt like a step in the wrong direction at an age where all my friends are moving abroad coming back home felt a little weird but over the past year i've come to realize that moving out is inevitable aaj nahi to kal it is bound to happen whether i want to or not just because i am in a room of a version of me that i've outgrown doesn't mean that there is no space left for any other version of me here so instead of comparing my life with some idealistic timeline i should just enjoy the time i've left here appreciate my parents spend more time with my childhood friends make more memories and maybe even squeeze a few more firsts in the room